Welcome to episode five of Advantage After Hours. Hey, hello. We've got the original four here, Justin, Jim, Matt, and Zach. No special guest this time. Uh, today's bourbon that we picked, I picked specifically for Zach. Hmm. So after doing some high proof bourbons, after coming down a little bit last the last time, the one that we got this time is... What do we have? From Few Spirits, which is up in Evanston, Illinois. Oh, Just up nice. the road. Oh, Local. That's cool. Alice in Chains. Oh, Pilar, oh, that's cool. Bourbon whiskey finished in tequila barrels. Oh, okay. Really? So, All right. you piqued my interest a little bit. My ears are up. I gotta wonder which members of the band are all the band or just the camp trials. Or... Yeah, I don't know. They fantastic. I do know that they originally released this in 2019. Okay. This and is this specific one no, been around? No, they they did a batch of it in 2019, and then it was gone for a couple years, and then they brought it back back in September this past year to for uh, Alice in Chains' new tour. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. And so there's only 3,300 bottles of this released. So really, it's pretty small batch. That's so this cool. is one of 3,300. Oh, very nice. Where did you find it? Uh, Malloy's. Oh. Glen Ellen, right on Roosevelt Road. Oh, Malloy's. So it's is only it, 50, 50 bucks. Huh. Is it... Uh, so that's where we got these fine glasses. Is it... Yeah, Malloy's. Is it uh, stronger than the other ones have been? Less... This less one is less only proof. 101 proof. And the last ones we've done? I think the last... A couple times ago was 100. Everything yeah. else was big, higher than that. Yeah, 114 we had. Was <laughs> it a 116? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, um, we also have our bourbon tasting wheels here to help us uh, figure out what it smells like, what it tastes like. So if it tastes, you know, if it's fr fruity or floral, if you get grains in it. Yeah. All right. Just remember what the grains taste like. Yeah, uh, I remember. Days. Hey. <laughs> Are we going now? Yeah. Give it a little smell. Please. It smells good. <laughs> 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 What are you getting, Zach? Oh, well, let me let me look at my chart here. It's spice. I would definitely say I'm getting a little bit of spice as well, and spice. some sweet. Definitely spice up front. A little more sweetness yeah. as it goes through. Spice. You think that sweetness is from like the tequila barrels? Probably, or, yeah. Right, because. Hmm. Yeah, it's like peppery a little yeah. bit. Yeah, I was going to say wrong. black pepper. Is that, so that's yeah. what I tasted right black away. Black pepper nice. works. Wow. <clears throat> what about towards I'm the end, though? Surprise. How a little will sweet. It? A little sweet, right? It does, yeah. It kind of starts peppery yeah. and it fades into sweetness. Into what? I got a uh, buttery, buttery, yeah. Yeah. Maybe a caramel or a, something like that. Toffee? Yeah, it could be toffee. It's a little too. toffee. I'll tell you, it's, um, this, is a, uh, this is a drinker. It's interesting. I've had one, one tequila finished bourbon before from Chattanooga. What's that? I don't know. I kind of think this one might, one might be better. I, I mean, this is good. This no, is this, really good. I think this is my this favorite one. This is one of the, yeah. I'll tell you what, this is one of the better ones I've had. All right, kudos to you for picking one that's not too, uh, not too bad. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it's their, um, it's their signature bourbon whiskey. Which is seventy percent corn, twenty percent northern rye, and ten percent two row malt. Wow. Okay. Um, so two row malted barley supposedly has more flavor impact than the standard six row malted barley. Okay. Hmm. So, I don't, I don't yeah, know. it's definitely got, and it doesn't uh, it doesn't stick around with the burn. No. No. It's very very light burn. Finishes, yeah, yeah light, it finishes finish. really well. Very good. I guess because of that tequila. So it aged in tequila barrels for six months after. Oh. Oh. All right. That's came pretty out of cool. Yeah. Are there aging houses here in Evanston or are they elsewhere? I think they do everything in Evanston. Okay. I don't know for sure, but um, Very nice. basically they opened in 2011. Oh, okay. Evanston was a dry city for like 100 years after Prohibition. And this guy, the, the guy that opened this, Paul Fletko. Um, he basically helped 
uh, the city get like get rid of their prohibition laws, oh, repeal okay. laws, and then he uh, and then he uh, went to town. He opened it, <laughs> All right. and then uh, actually in last year, twenty twenty two, few was actually acquired by Heaven Hill. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, Heaven Hill. So it's still few, but they're owned by Heaven Hill. Nice, Heaven Hill. That was another company we worked with. Mm-hmm. We sold a stage trailer to Heaven Hill, right, for their marketing. Yeah. 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 Yeah, they take it to events and like on the Louisville waterfront oh, and stuff. Nice. Wow. Sample bourbon out. That's cool. That's very cool. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Ellis and Chains, phenomenal. Really good. He's actually uh, he's done other collabs with with uh, bands as well. He did one with the Flaming Lips a few years ago. Oh, all right. And then he did another one. I forget who that was, but mm. it's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's very cool. Very interesting. But it is really good, so thank I'm, you. I'm surprised by this. I was not. <laughs> I tell you, yeah, this I was is... not expecting huh. it to be as good as it is. You've never had this before? I've never tried this one. I've no? had some other few like, bourbon and whiskey or bourbon and rye, but not the Alice and Jane. But, but not this. this. Hmm. Well, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. I like it. Yeah. I yeah. It's a number one hit for me, by golly. <laughs> yeah. 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 So far, this is the top. Yeah. Really good. Right. And actually, you know like what FUSE stands for? So no. far, yeah. Okay. What? what does FUSE stand for? Frances Elizabeth Willard. That's the, a lady that was very uh, prominent in the women's temperance music uh, movement. Really? Back in the day during yeah. Prohibition okay. in the Evanston area. Really? And so she was super against bourbon and alcohol. Yeah, yeah. So, so they, he named his distillery after her. Oh, that's funny. Perfect. Hey, way to go. That's funny. That's fantastic. I like your style. That's good. No, yeah, oh. this is this is really good. Very good. Yeah, I I I like this a lot. I think typically I think I prefer a little more burn on it, me oh. personally. But this is just a good It is a good a, easy sipper. It is. It really is. It has that the flavor, the good flavor from mm-hmm. the Yeah, it's one of those tequila. Higher proof that doesn't add the yeah, it's the uh, kickback that you're not getting. Yeah, yeah, not a lot of burn to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you know, some of that whiskey sometimes feels like you're getting kicked by a horse. You know, so, well, that's is, what I this, like. Yeah, this, is, by this a horse. is this is oh. it's right down my aisle right here. <laughs> All right, so fifty bucks, would you buy it? I, yeah, I would for sure. Yeah, yeah, I would for definitely. sure. Definitely. Yeah, really. Worth it. Worth it. It's a good sipper. Mm-hmm. So what's the uh, the trailer that we're featuring this week? Uh, the trailer we're featuring this week is our 7x14 Discovery Cargo. Um, it's a uh, all aluminum frame, 7 wide, 14 feet long, 6.5 foot tall, blackout package. So blackout corners, fenders, everything. Uh, interiors finished off, rear ramp door, and it's on special. Um, being all aluminum and everything like that, we've, we've discounted it down. So take a look at it. We name all our trailers as well when they come in. Um, this particular one here is Jack Sparrow. So if you want to go on our website, you can look up Jack Sparrow. But uh, we do name all our trailers. Uh, so if you have any name suggestions, you can also let us know. All right. Francis Elizabeth Willard. Francis Elizabeth <laughs> Willard. We're going to have, a, I think, maybe one of our new trailers. The next one coming in might be called Alice in Chains. Yeah. And I think we'll do that. Alright, I appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you.